So hello everyone and welcome back or to my channel. My name is Erica and today I will be doing my project pan update for February. So this is the first update and this year I've chosen to do a rolling 10 um, project pan style project pan because um, 21 in 2021 just didn't seem feasible with my collection size. I believe I have under 100 products and um, not a lot of things that I would like to hit pan on. Like I have a lot of highlighters and you know, I'm good at hitting pan on highlighters but I don't want to be working on more than one at a time type of thing so yeah. I'm just gonna get started. So I have a lot of lip products, which is crazy for the times that we are in, but I do wear the products pretty regularly. So I'm just gonna get started with all of them. So I have six in this project because I'm a crazy person. Um, starting with the Fenty Beauty Gloss Balm. This is the um, when I have it's in the shade Fenty Glow. I'm trying to get Fenty Beauty out of my collection because I don't support Rihanna anymore um, She made like a racist post towards Asians and as you can see I am Asian so um, She didn't apologize. I would you know forgive her if she apologized and address what she did wrong and say that she wouldn't make the same mistake in the future um, I'm about forgiving people if they like you know address what they did wrong and are genuinely like you know, upset about what they did. Um, anyway, so I used this four times. I'll have a picture of close-ups. <laughs> I haven't worn lip gloss in a while and now my hair is sticking to my lips, but anyway, so I used this four times. It's not my favorite formula, but it is a product that's like a bang for your buck, so if you want to buy, um, so if you want to buy like a higher end lip gloss, you'll definitely get your money's worth out of this. Uh, with most lip glosses, I can finish them pretty quickly, but not this one. Um, I also haven't been using this one very often. Um, I think I did drop a letter. So before this, I was at the B, and now I'm below the B. Moving on to these two products. These are the Chateau Laviote. Ooh, they're wine lip tints. They're really cute. Um, I have the shade Red 02 and Coral 1. I used this one 23 times and I used this one 26 times. So I usually use them together, but sometimes I don't use this one when I use this one. I do prefer this one more because just because of the colors that they are, and these are supposed to be more satin finishes. So if I were you, I would not. And you want to buy these, I would go for the matte um, lip tints instead of the satin finish because the matte one is more pigmented. So this shade, uh, this shade is really patchy. So I only use it to do gradient lips, so I use way less of this than I do of this. Something tells me I'm still going to have these next year because they're just refusing to die. But I do really like this color, especially for this time of the year where it's, you know, new beginnings, spring, peach colors, uh, and then this one, you know, found to look like I just bit my lips because that's somehow cute. <laughs> um, I, I use this to go, like, on my inner lips and do a gradient effect except this bleeds so it really does look like I bit my lip but yeah they're really cute and they're the same colors that the lids are okay moving on to the next product I have the uh, Nature Republic lip balm this is the flower lip balm in the shade 1 so I bought this because I thought it was a good deal this is how much I have left. I've used this product 15 times. So the way I use this is sometimes I'll go over my lip tint with this to kind of smooth it out and blend um, the two lip tints together if I feel like it's too messy. Um, but it's slow going. You'll see in the progress photo. Um, I feel like the tip, like the top right here, is not shrinking. But the, the angle is becoming more steep so even though I did use this 15 times it's not really showing as 15 times on my um, my like on my markings because 
I'm only using like the middle part and the bottom. I'm not really, like the top part's not really touching my lips. So it's going from like this to this. So um, I don't know, but I am using it. Next, I have my Milk Kush uh, lip balm in the shade Shine. It was, I don't know if they still have it, but it was limited edition last year for Pride. And I used this five times. <laughs> So this is how much I have left. I honestly don't have that much left. I know if this were Green Dragon, I would be done within two months, but this is not Green Dragon, so um, I am not using it as often. I don't like to wear this to bed because there's glitter on it, and if I roll around, that stuff's going to smear all over my pillow, all over my blankets, and my clothes, so um, yeah, I prefer not to wear this. And the glitter is very chunky, and it's just not a good look. I don't know what they were thinking when they made this because it's not very wearable but I want to use it up because I have six more of these like m more uh, not of this color but I have six more Kush lip balms because I bought the party the party I bought the party pack um, around the holidays for $17 okay and the last lip product I have is this MAC uh, lipstick in the shade Indiegogo. I'm actually removing this because I only used it once and I don't know what I was thinking when I put it in this project. Um, I really don't know what I was thinking. I feel like this would be better for fall. Even though it's like technically January and everywhere else it's freezing, here in California it doesn't drop below freezing. Yeah, um, I'm gonna put this away because right now I'm just thinking, oh it's springtime even though it's not. Okay, let's move on to something that's more exciting. I have, I was working on the e.l.f. Cream and Sugar Quad in the shade, or well, in the first shade. Um, I'll put a picture of what it looked like last month. I actually made quite a bit of progress on this. I used this 27 times, so this is what my progress is on it now. As you can see, I really widened the uh, pan in the center. I think I could have this finished by, not March, April. Uh, which will be really exciting because it'll be the first eyeshadow I've ever used up completely. And then of course, I'm going to be moving on to another <laughs> cream colored eyeshadow to work on. Um, yeah, after I finish this shade, I'm getting rid of this palette because I don't like the other two colors. They're just too light for me. Um, I wouldn't save it as a highlighter either because I have highlighters I prefer. And... I don't support e.l.f. anymore, so I don't see a point in wasting my time trying to figure out ways to use the other two shadows um, as like highlighters when I'm taking away time from like the highlighters that I love. So. Makeup expires no matter what and you gotta prioritize what you think is best and I don't care for this so I'm not going to worry about it. And I hate saying like, oh it's only $3, whatever, because like if you go away at $3 um, quad and you go away, you know, like $80 quad, that it's still the same quantity that you're throwing away um, in my perspective, it's you don't want to have so I don't want to say, oh, it's $3 because, you know, you don't weigh material, not money, well, if that makes sense. Anyway, okay, I'm going to move on to something boring before finishing on something slightly exciting. This is the NARS uh, Cosmetics blush in the shade Deep Throat. I have worn this 27 times because I wear it every day that I wear makeup. This is what mine looks like. Yes. No real difference because this product was basically new when I put it in this project. As you can see, there's still some corners that haven't been touched, or at least I can see it. I might just weigh it to see my monthly progress on this because I do use this on a daily basis. I haven't worn another blush uh, this entire month because, I mean, I am not the type of person to be like, oh, you know, today I feel like wearing, you know, a plum blush or a peach blush or a pink blush I'm just like it's blush I'm gonna wear it so um, which is funny to me because last year I was super crazy about getting different blush colors when in reality I just stick to one until I hit pan on it so yeah I'm glad I didn't get the chance to buy a ton of blushes like I wanted last year I do really like this blush it's perfect for every day if I lost this blush to be honest, I wouldn't be too worried because I have a backup of it, but if I lost both of them, I would probably go out and buy another one because this is just perfect for every day. And moving on to my highlighters. <laughs> I know I said I don't like to put more than one uh, 
cheek product into my project pan at a time. But this is an exception because it's a duo. This is the Fenty Beauty Kilowatt Freestyle Highlighter Duo in the shades Mean Money and Hustler Baby. I repressed mine because it came shattered and then I got a new one after I told Sephora. So I gave the new one away but I kept the old one because there's nothing wrong with it other than the fact that it was shattered and I probably lost 20% of the product during the repressing. And I repressed mine with a bronzer so mine looks more marbled and textured than other people's and I repressed it on the wrong side so this is what mine looks like. So this is the shade Mean Money and this is Hustla Baby. I did previously have pan on Mean Money and uh, yeah but it was like two pans and there was like a strip of highlighter in the middle so I had two baby pans and now I have just one giant um, oval pan. <laughs> I don't know what shape that is. I was gonna say it looks like a little hamster. Um, anyway. Yeah, it looks like a hamster. Especially if you like turn it this way. No, you can see it better here. So you can see the little mouths and the feet and its round body. Anyway. Um, or maybe Godzilla without arms. Yeah, I used this 27 times, both sides. I mixed the two when I apply highlighter. I have it on today. And like I said, this is the only, or just like the others, this is the only highlighter I've been using because I want to get rid of it. It's not a terrible product. Like, this is the only product from Fenty that I don't, com or this is probably my favorite product from Fenty, but I don't love this highlighter. Um, I feel like it looks a little off on my skin sometimes, especially the more glowy side, which would be Hustla Baby. Um, yeah, it just looks a little off. I don't know how to explain it. Like, it looks textured. Like, there's little holes in it as I put it on, but <laughs> this camera doesn't even pick it up, so it's whatever. And I'm not really going outside, and if I do, I have a mask on most of my face, so no one can really tell. But yeah, this is I feel like a good time for getting rid of products like this. <laughs> um, I'm glad I have never truly loved anything I tried from Fenty because uh, I don't support the brand and so I'm not that sad about not buying from Fenty anymore. Like I said in my intro video, I always roll at least two new products into my collection while maintaining a minimum of 10 products. So for example, this time I I'm taking out one product. I didn't uh, finish anything, so I'm not going to be rolling anything out. Or, yeah, so I don't have any products rolling out that way. But I will be rolling in two new products this time, so that means that next time I'll have 11 uh, products to talk about. But if for some strange reason in the next update I finish five products, that would drop me down to six products and I would pick four new products uh, in the next update, if I use five up, if that makes sense. So yeah, I feel like if I wrote this as a computer function, it would make a lot more sense. But anyway, so I've chosen my two products to work on. I just took out a lip product and I'm putting one in. This is the Dose of Colors Liquid Lipstick in the shade Warm and Fuzzy. <sighs> I do not like liquid lipsticks uh, that much. And this one, um, I like the color, just not on me, um, and so the way I like to use this one up is with my lip gloss that's in this product pan, so I'm probably going to finish using this by wearing it with lip gloss as well because I'm not really wearing this um, lip gloss with anything other than my lip liners, which I haven't been wearing as of late because I've been working on my tinted lip balms and my lip balms, so there's no real need to wear this. So yeah, this makes, uh, this lip gloss makes this look less one-dimensional, I would say, so that's why I like to pair them together. I'm sure another lip gloss that's a similar shade to this would do the same thing, but I just want to use these two products up together. Right now, I am just above the E of Dose of Colors, <laughs> um, so... That's where my starting line will be. I'm not going to mark the bottle because it's so pretty. I'm just going to take pictures. And the last product I'm putting in is actually a perfume. So 
I want to get the I wanted to get the Jo Malone orange blossom perfume, but at the same time, I didn't really want to wear perfume because I thought my skin was sensitive to it. My skin has gotten way more sensitive recently. I don't know what it is, but I still dream about that perfume, so I'm not getting it because it's seventy doll seventy four or seventy two dollars for a one ounce bottle. So I went on Etsy, Etsy. I went on Etsy and found a dupe for fifteen dollars. Actually, I think it's twenty twenty dollars for a one ounce spray bottle, and the spray bottle is compostable or recyclable which is pretty cool, so um, I'm going to use up all my current perfumes before I get that one and that includes this one, which I constantly forget to wear. This is the Miss Dior Sherry Eau de Parfum. I'm probably butchered to that, but uh, it's okay. Um, this smells like... Honestly, um, if you are Chinese, you'll know what I'm talking about. <laughs> it smells like that mosquito bite um oil in the green bottle like there's like a little roller on it and then you press it oh you're just getting flashbacks on like your mosquito bites your grandma probably has it your parents probably have it if they're um if you're first generation it smells very herbally and i don't mind the smell because it reminds me of my childhood when i got bit by a ton of mosquitoes when i went to my grandma's house uh in asia <laughs> and yeah. Uh, nostalgia, but that's what it smells like. I don't think a lot of people, um, like if you're not used to the smell, I don't think you would like it. I don't know if this is expired or it's supposed to smell like that, but I will use it up. Hopefully it's not what's causing my eczema to flare up, but who knows. Um, and. I always forget to use this one because I am not the biggest fan of this smell. Like, I don't mind it, but I just don't love it. So, yeah. Right now, it's uh, basically full. I'm pretty sure it takes me like three months to get, go through one of these. And then I have another bottle that I uh, need to go through. But I don't like that one. <laughs> so... Yeah, I'm trying to work through all my perfumes so I can buy the dupe of the Jo Malone Orange Blossom perfume. And that's everything. I hope you enjoyed this video. There'll be a short montage of... Mon montage? <laughs> There'll be a short montage of all the products that I'll be working on right after this. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in a month. Bye! Mm -hmm.